beard, grow it long, stand up strong for your kingdom. Hello, beard brothers out there. I have a video to make today about the hypocrisy of women and their uh, their ideas about vanity and their uh, feminism, rejection of beards on men. And it's a comment I received from my health channel uh, from a woman uh, recently that says, why don't you shave uh, up that beard? Why, why don't you shape up that beard uh, so you look younger? So why don't you shape up that beard so you look younger? You're encouraging people to eat healthy. Um, uh, and, and you are growing a beard that makes you look older. No one can really see your skin or to see your neck, to see if you, how you look, if you're healthy or not. You need to look young and handsome so that uh, other people will uh, look up to you. They don't need the, uh, you don't need the beard off. Just shape it up. And when I hear something like this, I hear, I think immediately about, you know, when a man wants to suggest something about the way a woman looks, it's to a degree degrading or sexual harassment according to women of this world. How dare a man tell a woman how to look? Or if a man wants to rate a woman, I see these women, these uh, videos now where men will say, oh, that woman's a 10 or that woman's a five or, or that woman can do a little bit something to make herself look better or something else. All of a sudden, women all, also, all over the world get offended. How dare he say something like that or suggest something like that? Now, I'm not offended by your comment of me looking at a beard. You know, I'm more concerned about your hypocrisy. You know, are you criticizing uh, uh, me and my vanity? But if I want to speak about how a female looks, all of a sudden, if I say, oh, you know, why do you have that long hair, women? You know, because I always tell women, I teach women that, you know, your hair is ultimately your beauty and your glory, according to the Bible. So a woman should should cover her hair, you know, and keep it covered and just let her husband see her beauty and her glory and not the whole world. So when it comes down to it, the hair on a woman's head is her true sexiness or her, her, her beauty. And I strongly believe, you know, it's like walking around naked when a woman's wearing her long flowing hair out in the world. I don't think it looks bad at all, but I think it's not for the eyes of every man in this world. And a woman should be covering her head. So when me would suggest that a woman should cover her hair, not cut it off, not shape it, just cover it. The, the, the feedback I get is so many people being upset and mad and and just have every cell in their body just come up. How dare you tell me to cover my head? And how dare you tell me to do this? And how dare you tell me anything about my appearance? And then they start defending their appearance and everything else. But then they'll come at me and say something about my beard. Why don't you shave that? Or why is it so long? Or anything like this with, with no understanding of the hypocrisy at all you know and not only do i love my beard i think it looks healthy i feel healthy and fine with it i don't think it blocks my skin and my face because this is my face this is part of me i don't think cutting something off with a knife will enhance anything or benefit me in any way and I want men out there, as you're listening to this, to just to, to not fall into the trap of the of the women of vanity of the world, and 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 just the ideas that that go through through their head, you know. And it's just, I mean, this is how backwards this world is today. A woman that'll criticize a man with a beard actually has to walk outside, take take time every morning and paint her face like a clown in a circus before she can walk out of her house. So again, here's the hypocrisy. For me to suggest that you don't need to dress like a clown and put face paint on to come out of your house. And maybe you can go out of your house without that fake up on. All of a sudden, people get upset at me and tell me I hate women because I'm just suggesting that they don't take so much time to 
fulfill their vanity, their lustful vanity of this world and appeasing and attention seeking of the world. But they can come and criticize my beard with no problem and think it is perfectly normal, acceptable, and okay for them to, to give their feedback to me and what I should or shouldn't do with my face. Now, I have no problem with people sharing their opinion. There are some people that like the way the beard looks and some people that don't. Everyone has the right to, to give their feedback. And perhaps it would look cleaner if it was trimmed or shaped a certain way. Feedback is okay. But the video is not about feedback. The video is about the hypocrisy. If you can dish it out, then, then take it all as well. And don't be concerned when, when somebody says you shouldn't wear clown makeup on your face every day. Or you should cover your, the glory or the beauty, cover your head and wear a head covering or something else. Goes both ways. So, you know, for all of you that think you're doing good out there and trying to comment on uh, or help me on, on telling me how to get along with, with my appearance, thank you for your concern. But, you know, if, you, if you're going to give it, then take it. You know, I think uh, it'll help help women a lot not to have such a desire to seek the attention of this world where they're just oblivious to what really matters in this world. I mean, shaving, shaving your body and, and putting on your face paint and, and spending hours on your, on your hair to impress the world and the competition with other women. I want to encourage all you men out there to let your beards grow and don't care about what your job says or what society says. Beards are making a comeback and more people now have beards now than ever before. And they're acceptable and they should be because this is our, our face. This is who we are. And I think uh, men shouldn't submit or idolize the vanity of the women of this world today. And men should be free and enjoy the face that our creator gave them. So let it grow. And if you want to trim it and shape it up, that's your choice. If you want to color it and so on. But I'm not coloring my my face like a rainbow. I'm not putting fake up on all over me. And I'm certainly not, certainly not going to walk around this world looking like a clean shaven woman because I'm a man and I know it. So, and I, I, I feel good about that, that I'm uh, walking around looking like a man and not uh, a clean-shaven, smooth-skinned woman. Uh, because people are confused today and they don't even know what they are. And uh, I'm telling you, grow a long beard and that'll help you <laughs> figure it out. All right, everybody. Uh, so put your comments, questions below. Thank you. Stay strong. And let the beard keep growing long. Have a good day, everybody. Beard on. Grow your beard. Grow it long. Stand up strong for your kingdom.